Hello, it's Felonius the Old Yapper. You know that I live in Sweden, so I need to do a bit of an explaining, first of all, because I doubt that you can understand the title of this Yap. Uh, we have in Sweden something called Systemet. Uh, that is our liquor boutique. It's co governed by the, the government. It's it's controlled by the government. Uh, we are not allowed to go to any other store and get our alcohol. Uh, everything that is sell sold in Sweden are going through special boutiques called Systemet. And the name I don't understand. It, it's of course it's called the system. But I can't call it the system, because you're not really getting it. System it. And I'm not very often there. I will say that I am there well, once every five years or something like that. Last time it was 2010, I think, because I went in and bought my brother a whiskey bottle because he was going 50. So it's not often. Now, the Systemet has some sort of very small plastic bags. You can get a six pack of beer, beer cans, uh, perhaps two, or perhaps two wine bottles or something like that. And they're always brightly colored in, uh, well, lately I think it's purple or green. And you can see from <laughs> very long distance, like 200 to 300 yards, that someone is carrying a system of plastic bag. <laughs> Perhaps it's me. Perhaps it's only me, because I can't for the life of me see how I would go around with one of those plastic bags in any other way than to and from the system. Because, I mean, that is what they're for, and they're guns pretty useless uh, otherwise, mainly because they are so small. But no, people are using them in any other way they can. They are having their, their uh, sandwiches for work, they're carrying them in their system bag. It's like, well, to me, it's like, look, I am drinking a lot of booze, I can use this plastic bag. What? Are you boasting with booze? That's my feeling of it. I mean, perhaps it's pride. Perhaps I'm too proud to use one of those bags. When I buy anything in the system at Yes, I would probably get one of those bags, because you can't go around with a whiskey bottle by its neck out in the street. You are not allowed to. That is actually one of our forbidden rules. You are not allowed to just sit with a bottle, or just walk around with a bottle. If it's a soda bottle, that's okay, but if it's a whiskey bottle, no way. So, okay, I need to use those bags, but as soon as I get home, I throw them away mainly because they're often made out of plastic that is easily dissolved, can be used in our uh, heating facilities or whatever. But many, many people are going around with them, flaunting them, I would say. And, I mean, I don't really know what, what you have in equivalent in, like, let's say, USA, but I know about those brown paper, bot uh, paper bags you have. Um, and if you see w someone holding uh, a paper bag by its neck, <laughs> it's probably because this, he's also holding the, b the bottle inside. But the things we see, at least on TV, is that these are mostly winos, and, well, they also have some sort of pride, I suppose. I think it's strange. Yep, well... Hopefully I have shown you a picture of one of them, <laughs> even if I don't own any. But somehow when I'm talking about it, it feels like probably it's just me, isn't it?
is me and my pride. I have to sit down, think about this in inwards. Thanks for listening. Bye.